Let's go. All right. The universal supply stays is going to stay on the table. Your hair cutting kit should be out with your shears, your razor, um, your combs, your clippers, your dry towels, your wet towels. The first dry towel, of course, is used for draping. And as you drape, you want to make sure that the cape does not touch the client's neck. You're going to be looking for that. Okay, you want to make sure that that drape is around the protected towel. This is a wet drape service because you're going to leave them draped throughout the service. So the next service is a wet drape, which is your shade. One of the things you want to show them is that it's not too tight. So you want to take your two fingers and you want to put them in here so that it doesn't show that it's too tight for the client. Okay? You set up for your haircut and your supply instructions. All right. You will perform a tapered haircut with no block lined at the nape. You will demonstrate clipper cutting with and without a guard or detachable blade. You will demonstrate the use of a shear over comb. You will demonstrate fingers and shear cutting. You will cut at least half inch of hair throughout the haircut. You will be expected to complete and blend the haircut. You will also be expected to shave both sides of the neck with a straight razor. Do not remove your hair clippings from your work area until you are instructed individually by the examiner to do so. You will be expected to follow a client protection safety infection control procedure. You will have 40 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when 20 minutes is remaining. Step back to indicate when you are finished, and we will repeat these instructions. Go. All right. So you will perform a tapered haircut with no block line at the nape. You will demonstrate clipper cutting with and without a guard or detachable blade. You will demonstrate the use of shear over comb. You will demonstrate fingers and shear cutting. You will cut at least a half inch off the hair throughout the haircut. You will be expected to complete and blend the haircut. You will also be expected to shave both sides of the neck with a straight razor. Do not remove your hair clippings from your work area until you are instructed individually by the examiner to do so. You'll be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 40 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 20 minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. All right, so what he just explained is you're gonna perform the haircut doing multiple haircutting techniques. This is gonna to prove to the board that you can do all types of hair and the techniques that he said. The first is going to be your clipper regard on your perianal ridge, parietal ridge, perianal ridge, okay? This makes a guideline for you to come back with clipper over comb for your nape to the occipital bone. Then you're going to perform the shear cutting back up. Before you go to your shear cutting, you want to do everything you need to do with your clippers. So you also explain no block line. So you're going to go in the back and you're going to taper out the back. Last but not least with your clippers, you're going to arch around the ear. You're going to set your clipper equipment down. Then you're going to pick up your shears and you're going to do your wet cut. You're not your cut finger over shear. Then you're going to come back with you clip with the shear and comb to blend in any uh, demarcation lines. Then you're going to come with your razor to clean up the back of the ear to the nape area. All right? And let's begin. 40 minutes has started. Make sure. Your tools and implements are working, okay? So, just for practical purposes, we're going to move the table so you can see, all right? Once again, I just went, okay? And I touched the wall, I put the clipper in socket, sanitize your hands before you come back to your service, okay? You can't do this enough. This is client protection and safety precaution. Now you have your clipper 
and we're going to use the number two guard. Make sure that you bring backups so that if you drop something, um, you can throw it into the disinfected soil and pick up a clean implement or tool so you got backup combs, you got backup um, shears, you got backup guards, you got backup clippers, you got backup razors, you got backup towels. All right? So we've cut this side pre-cut a little bit. We're going to come with the number two. Around the periano ridge. All right, we come around this side so we can show the periano ridge. Okay. Okay. All right. Come around this side. Now this side is uncut. So this is where you're going to cut your perianal ridge. I'm going to go ahead and take your guard off and you're just going to get this down close. Okay. Just want to get some of the bulk of the hair out of your way. Don't be afraid to cut in. Cut in and get some of the hair out of your way. All right, so number two, we're going to come from your piranha ridge. We're going to come here and then cut this hair down. And take your time. Getting your bulk, your debulking your hair, your debulking your hair so that you can get a number two level on your This is your ridge where you're going to take your number two and come down so that you can have as a guide. Okay, take your time, debulking your mannequin. And that perianal ridge is where the comb comes off of the scalp. Now this is going to give you a guideline length for your clipper and comb. It just makes it easier for you to understand what length you should be bringing your mannequin down to. Okay, parental ribs, done. All right, this is gonna go here. Now you're going to go with the clipper over cone technique for your back to match up everything. Once again, Cut your bulk away. Get rid of your bulk. Get rid of your bulk. You have a lot of hair on your mannequin. Be careful not to go too close, too quickly. 
Now you're going to match. You're going to match that number two. You're going to do this all the way from your make to your perianal bridge. The debulking, you're getting rid of as much of the hair as possible to get to your guideline. So this is the second technique that you are showing your examiners that you know how to use. Clipper over comb technique, okay? Same thing, the debulking. Any big hair. to your obstipable ribs. you get both sides to a level which you are happy with, then you move on with the rest of your clipper work. There's your clipper over comb and look for any debulking you need to do. While you have your clipper in hand, you're now going to use a, you can use this or you can grab a new one, okay? We can grab a new one, all right? You're going to now tape out the back with no block line. So you want to show them because the tape route has to be with a guard. Um, the clip rubber comb can work, but you're only going to get to a certain level. I'd say about right at the ear is where you want to start the taper. From your big guard, open, to close. Now, to a smaller guard. Open. Show them that it's open. You're giving them the illusion that you're knowing how to fade by showing them that it's open. And as you go to a lower guard and position on your lever, you're also going lower to close. Two, open. And of course, you're going lower and lower and lower as you go. Being cautious the whole time that you're not dropping this cape lower or higher than the top. You taper out to no block lines, show them your clothes. There's a bead on the mannequin, of course, so it's not going to show 
it completely bald. Last but not least, you are, and while I'm on this side, I can do it here, you are showing them that you're arching around the ear. So you close, and you come in here. Okay? Technique is in this direction. Okay? And we'll do the same on the other side. Same on the other side. You're arching around the ear. All right. Now you're finished with your clipper attachment guards. So you can put that away. Okay. I touch my socket. Let's go back to work on my client. I'm going to sanitize my hands. You want to pick up your seal work. Now, okay, let's just clean the table just a little bit. Okay? Once again, making sure that that cape doesn't touch the neck. All right? Touch anything other than that client, sanitize your hands over and over again. Okay? Saturated, pretty good. Saturated, pretty good. We're going to split it down the middle. Okay, we're going to split it down the middle so that we can use a symmetrical cut. Okay, you're going to make sure that you're properly palming your shears safely away from you, not towards you, not towards your client. So we're going to start down the middle. And we're going to cut it safely. So we're going to cut about maybe an inch and a half or so past your fingers. The first two phalanges is where you're going to stop. Here and here. Now that gives you a guide. Come on back because you got both sides. You got this side and that side. Bring it on back. And you cut that guide. And you're working yourself back. You want to show safety procedure. So you don't want to make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Bring your guide back. Stop with that second phalange. Don't go up in here. They're going to look to mark off points because you could cut your web. Once again, you hear them say, safety is what they're looking for. Okay. Now, come on with this edge here. Same thing. Bring it on back as a guide. Continue to come back. And just working yourself back to the crown area. Okay? Once again, come on back now, a little further down. Your third section, your fingertips should be pointing towards the floor. for any imperfections. OK. 
Okay, come on back here. Good. All right, come on back to the front and then continue to cut. You bring in your guideline. The side shows you what you're going to do on the side. Now, bring that back as well. You have your guide. Come on back. back till you have cut everything to the crown. Second section here. Bringing your guide here. And your guide. Keep coming back with your guide. And just I'm going to do a cross check in a moment. Once you get to a certain level of the haircut. Okay. So this is where it comes a little bit tricky. Because for the remainder of your left side, the mannequin needs to be facing you. So find a way to make sure that you do not Knock your mannequin off. Okay. 20 minutes remaining. Thank you, sir. So here, come on this side. From your left side, you should be facing your mannequin. Come behind me. From the left side, you should be facing your mannequin. Okay, you're working yourself all the way around. Working yourself all the way around to your crown. Technically, all right. While you're over on this side, you still have your shear in your hand. So now you're going to do shear over comb. And you want your mannequin to be to just this such a little bit of weight line. So you can bring it up here. And bring out any weight lines that you see. Once again, making sure that safety precautions.
So this is your third technique that you are showing your examiner that you can perform. Clipper with guard, clipper over comb, shear over hand, and now shear over comb. You're looking for any imperfections. Okay, mindful of the time. You were told at the last instructions that you have 20 minutes. Okay. Check. Side. Okay, so it looks okay. And this is just a check that they want you to perform as well. And this helps you, just in case you may have missed anything. Properly showing them that you are not violating any client safety and your safety. Practicing keeping your shear safe by using your steel blade running along this steel finger and just chopping as you go. Okay, do some more checks from this side. The instructions were to cut off at least a half an inch of hair. They want to see that you do a haircut. Tapered out with no black lines in the back. You're finished with your shear. This goes on to your dirty mat. The clean mat, last but not least, is your shave. Bring out your things. And this could have been done prior. Okay. But if you brought them out too soon, you would contaminate your towels. So you want a towel here for your shave. You want a towel here for your steam. Circular, fingertip motions, you're doing a shave in the back. Applying your shaving cream. Circular, fingertip motions. Okay, you have shaving cream. You can wipe your shaving cream off and place in your trash. Left side of your mannequin. You want to make sure that you are not moving while you have this open. Close, walk around the table if you need to, get to where you need to, but when you open this razor, stop moving. Proper stroke, free hand, reverse it is back here on your left side. And you want to make sure that you are stretching the skin, showing them that you're stretching the skin. The skin doesn't stretch, but be theatrical with it. Stretch your skin and come down with your strokes. Okay? Right side, it's a free hand. Stretch the skin and come down with your strokes. Okay? Making sure that you're showing them your thumb and the back of the razor are parallel to one another. Okay?
close, walk if you need to, step back when you're complete.